Hey everyone, it's Nate here from FlyPlugins.com and welcome to this video tutorial in which we will be discussing how to drip feed your course content with WP Courseware. Now there are a couple of options for drip feeding your course units. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the first of those two options, which is going to be the simplest. Now the first option you have for dripping your course units is going to be to select a date to, to release your content. So this is, this is very easy. Basically what it means is that no matter when one of your students was enrolled in a course, a course unit will become available on a specific date. So let's go ahead and head over to our WordPress admin panel and see how that works. Now that we're logged into our WordPress admin panel, I've gone into the install plugins page and you can see that we have version 3.8 of WP Courseware installed and activated, which is the first version which includes the drip feed functionality. Now I wanna show you how to simply uh, drip your content based on a specific date. If we go over to our training courses menu, we can see that we have a course created and if we go into modules, units and quiz ordering, we can see that we have four units within this course. If we navigate back to our course units listing, we have our four units once again. Now let's say in this scenario, we want unit one to be available immediately upon our student enrollment date. So unit one, we want it to become accessible as, as soon as the student is enrolled. But unit two, let's say we wanna delay that for one week. So we'll go into the editor for course unit two. We can see we have a meta box down here for content drip. For this option, we're going to select a specific date. The current date, as you can see, is September 3rd, 2015. And we want this course unit to be available one week from today. So we simply go to the date selector. We select September 10th, 2015. We update our course unit and we're good to go. Now let's say I want to make course unit three available one week later on September 17th. I can simply go into that unit, select a specific date, September 17th, 2015. I'll update that unit. And this content will now become available in various intervals based on the date. So let's flip over to the front end and see what this looks like. Remember it's September 3rd. We have access to course unit one, but not course unit two. Now we've entered the front end of, our, and end of our site, logged in as a student who is enrolled for course one. Now remember that we made unit one immediately available, no content drip delay. So we can click on unit one. We can see that we can access that. We'll mark it as completed. We're obviously available. Uh, we have the availability to move to the next unit. So we can do that here. When we click on that, we see a message that the second unit is not available based on our settings that we put in the course units. So we're informed that we can check back in about six days, four hours and 38 minutes. Keep in mind, this is going to be based on the general settings within your WordPress admin panel. So if you need to change the time zone, you can do that in your general settings. And that's going to control when that content becomes available uh, based, on your, based on your settings. Now, when your students click on a unit and it's not available, what happens is they're going to actually be entered into a queue in the database so that they can receive an email when that unit does become available. So if we go back to the previous unit, we can see that we're back there. What happens is once the content does become available, uh, an email will be sent to your student saying it's now available. And you can see if we flip back over to our course settings, we have a new tab for email notifications for units. Now you can customize this template. Uh, you can see the, the subject is uh, by default unit unlocked. Um, so you can customize this using the tags over here on the right hand side of the screen. And you can send an email to your students to let them know, hey, you can go ahead and access that content. It's now available. And that also happens for uh, the other option we have, which is selecting specific intervals based on course enrollment date. So let's go ahead and flip over and switch to that option as well. So now we're talking about dripping content based on a user's specific enrollment date. And there are a couple of ways in which that happens and how those are 
written to the database. So let's take a look at our WordPress admin panel and see how that might happen. So since the enrollment date is so important, let's take a look at that right now. If we go back into our training courses menu and we go to edit course settings, most of our WP courseware users will be familiar with this. If we go to our user access tab, we have the ability to automatically add new WordPress users to our course, which means when they register for your WordPress site and get a user account, they're automatically enrolled in your course. Now, if you do that, their course enrollment date is going to coincide with their WordPress registra registration date, uh, basically the, the user's table in your database. If you select to manually enroll users, what you're going to do is someone can register for your site. They're not automatically registered or enrolled in your course, and you can manually add them. You uh, basically save the details. Then you go over to the users panel. You can update their course access permissions, and you can allow, you can manually allow or disallow access to a particular course. So I can see that there is an enrollment date column now included within WP Courseware 3.8 and up. It tells us when a user was enrolled for a specific course. If we need to manually change this, we can do so here. Please keep in mind that this is only to be used for dripping content within your course, dripping course units. This will not prevent access. Let's say it's September 3rd and we set this to September 4th or 5th in the future, this will not prevent access for the course. It's only to be used for dripping your course units. So this user enrolled today for course one, September 3rd, and let's say we want to restrict course unit two uh, for a specific date uh, let's say this, this user started on September 3rd and we don't want content to be available for 15 days. So again, we go back to our course units listing. We can see if we go to unit one, this is going to be immediately available with no delay. If we go back, we can enter course unit two and edit that. Now we see that instead of a specific date, we can select a specific interval after the course start date. That's going to be based on hours, days, weeks, months, or years, and you can select any of those. As we said, we were going to do 15 days. So we'll enter that here and update our course unit. And this functionality with the specific interval after the course enrollment date will work just the same as the other option. Your students will be blocked when they try to access content that's not yet available. If they try to access that content that's not yet available, they will be queued up for an email to let them know when it is. Now, one last note regarding using intervals from the enrollment date for your students. If you ever need to manually change the enrollment date for a student, you can simply go into the users panel within your WordPress dashboard click on update course permissions and you can change that here. So if you need to update an enrollment date at any time, you can do that and it will be immediately changed in the database. All right, we hope this video on how to drip feed your course content with WP Courseware has been helpful. As always, please let us know if you have any questions within our member portal and our support desk and we'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching.